Welcome back to another review. I've got a solid state drive in for testing today. Recently did a new system build, so I thought we'd look at the 545S series from Intel. This features the 64 layer 3D TLC NAND, and you also have a endurance rating of 144 terabytes written on the 256 version, which I'm looking at today, and your five year warranty as well. So bear in mind, that the warranty period covers the total bytes written as well. So if you exceed that, that's your warranty gone. Some of the drives have three years. This one has five years. You also have a seal on the box. So make sure that's present and intact. And then just taking it out of the box. There's not too much to see on this drive. It's already sealed up, obviously, in the anti-static wrap. But the drive exterior is aluminium, all aluminium around the body. So that should help with the heat dissipation. And we'll do a little test on that later on. On the underside here just showing you some of the screws if you don't have a, um, a you need an adapter if you don't have a mount for the ssds or the two and a half inch drivers most of the reasonably recent cases will have that but that's an extra also it's seven millimeters thick so you may or may not need a spacer depending on what you're using it for not much else included other than the user guide here which gives you a brief overview of installation which is worth looking at if you haven't used one before or installed one, pretty simple process. And onto the benchmark test, pretty much hit the limit on the read speed and the sustained write speeds were good, perhaps not quite as fast as the add to drive, but the random speeds were definitely quite a bit quicker. I'd be surprised now if you'd be able to tell the difference between uh, most of these drives in this price point it's pretty much academic the benchmarks but i'm putting it up there for you anyway and i'm just looking through with an ssd tool it's not quite giving me all of the information but it's giving you some of the smart data so what you can do is download the intel solid state drive toolbox and this gives you an indication of health and estimated life remaining and also access to all of that smart data the only thing i change with this possibly is to have a temperature readout um, on, on a graph um, which it doesn't have, but it's in the smart data as well. You can also check the smart status of normal drives or other solid state drives, and it will give you a bit of information on that. So it's probably worth installing. It's not the most advanced utility around, but they're pretty similar between most of the makers. They just give you some basic information and indication of the drive health, but they also allow you to do things like clean up, use the trim command, clean up some of the garbage on the drive, so you can run that and it runs pretty quick. And another feature you can do is go into the diagnostic settings um, and run some tests on that. There's a quick one if you suspect there's a problem with the drive and there's an advanced full diagnostic scan which takes quite a bit longer. There's no need to use this unless you suspect that there's something wrong. And we also have a few other features that are available here. So you can check for firmware updates and software updates on the toolbox. This one's for the consumer drives. There is a more advanced one for the uh, commercial drives. But obviously, this only works with the consumer ones at the minute. And you also get a bit of system information. So basic, but possibly worth installing if you don't have anything else monitoring your drives. Well, at least you can actually use it with your mechanical drives for the smart status anyway to give you some idea. Now you can also use the Intel migration tool software if you want. I have a machine to clone, but I also back up the system onto another hard drive. And just testing out the temperatures now, running the benchmarks, and I was getting into the mid 30s, which is about a good 10 degrees lower than the Adata drive, which had a plastic top. And this also has a 120 millimeter fan in front, so that would also aid with the cooling. So temperatures aren't gonna be an issue on this. Definitely back up your data though. I put my photos and videos on drive D, I also back that up externally and there's a system image that's taken and it goes onto E drive. That way if there's a problem, I can also swap out drives very easily and also use external drives as well. So really compared to the Adata, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get that extra two year warranty. Haven't had any problems with this um, SSD. I've been using that quite a bit, the Adata, that's working fine. And since I bought this, the Samsung 860 Evo came out. I haven't tried that. It's probably a little bit quicker. You have a similar endurance rating, slightly less capacity. And you also get a five-year warranty with that. So shop around on price. I definitely want to pay a little bit less for the Intel than the Samsung, but it's certainly worth a consideration for a system builder. So thanks for watching the video. I hope that was of some use to you. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos, and I'll catch up with you soon.